Hello, Justin. Hi, Glenn. How you doing? I'm, you know, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. You're the editorial director of the Heartland Institute, which I absolutely love. You guys have done uh, so much to fight um, many things, but in, in lately, you're really focusing on the fight against socialism. You just did a new Rasmussen uh, uh, study on likely voters. Can you can you take us through this? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, it, w- it was a poll conducted in uh, middle of no- November, November 13th and 14th, a thousand likely voters. And we asked them a variety of questions about um, Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren, uh, some questions about socialism, and then some questions about free speech. Um, and I think that the most important, interesting question was about free speech, free speech rights. Um, it was, should federal or state governments ban speech that a majority of Americans believes to be offensive, including speech considered to be racist or sexist. That's exact wording that we gave uh, to to the respondents. And the results were a quarter of, of likely voters said, yes, we should ban speech. Governments should ban that speech. And among varying groups based on age, 37 percent of younger people said yes to that question. That was the highest of any demographic uh, based on age. And 42 percent of government employees, which this might be the most interesting part of the survey, said yes to that question. So 42 percent of government sir, of, of government employees that we surveyed said that we should ban speech of course. that a majority of people think is offensive. That makes total sense to me. It makes sense to you. It makes absolute sense to me, especially when you think of this as a national survey, right? We're not polling people who are in Washington, D.C. So so we're polling government workers across the country. Well, who are most government workers in most parts of the country? Well, they're teachers. Uh, and I think that that's why you're seeing this this very far left view of free speech. But it's it's incredibly disturbing when you when you realize that. Most of these people are probably your local government workers. You're probably mostly public school teachers. So let me go through some of this because I think it's it's odd. Uh, Which is better, a free market economic system or socialism? Sixty nine percent, which is you know good for today, I guess. Sixty nine percent said a free market economic system. Twelve percent said socialism, and eighteen percent said not sure. Okay. That's right. Would you vote for a presidential candidate who identifies him or herself as a socialist? 26% said yes. There's only 12% that would identify as a socialist. 26% said yes. 50% said no. 24% said not sure. Not where I'd like it, but not horrible, if you will. Um, Do you have favorable, somewhat favorable, somewhat unfavorable, or very unfavorable impressions of Bernie Sanders? 18% 18% very favorable, 29% somewhat favorable, uh, 17 somewhat unfavorable, 31 uh, very unfavorable, and 5 not sure. What do, they, what do any of these numbers taken together begin to tell you? Anything? Yeah, I think that the most important thing uh, in the numbers that you just mentioned is that really a large percentage of Americans, uh, even people who identified as Democrats, um, in our crosstabs, we found that it's basically one in three Democrats said that they do not, they would not vote for a socialist candidate. Um, I don't know if Donald Trump is listening, but this might be helpful information in 2020. Yeah. Because if you can classify people as a socialist, if you can, if you can show Americans that what Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren and other people are proposing out there is socialist, is socialist policies, then I think most Americans are going to reject it. Uh, One of the really interesting things that we found in the data is that 20 percent, about 20 percent of both Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warner, uh, uh, Elizabeth uh, Warner's own supporters said that they would not vote for a socialist candidate. We're talking about the, the, mo- the people who had the highest favorability view of Bernie Sanders said that they would not vote for a socialist candidate for president. Well, that's that's really interesting. Do they not realize that Bernie Sanders is a socialist? I mean, do they not know that that's who they're that they're supporting? And I mean, I think that that tells you that a lot of people are very confused about what they're hearing from people like Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. Do you support legislation that would ban private ownership of assault rifles? 49% said yes. 
43% said no, and only 8% are not sure. Yeah, very, very disturbing, um, I think. I think that the, 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 not just the assault rifle question, but also the question that we asked about the Second Amendment. Do you support um, repealing, order, do you support repealing the Second Amendment, which currently guarantees America's right to bear arms? 24% said yes, 10% said not sure, 66% said no. That's right. And a third of 18 to 39 year olds, um, a third, 33% said that they would support banning the Second Amendment. So uh, it's 24% overall of all likely voters, but 33% of younger people. So over time, this is going to get is only going to become a bigger problem. And, and about a third, by the way, of Democrats said that they support repealing the Second Amendment. So I think we have a lot of work to do, Glenn, <laughs> teaching yeah. people about the importance of the Second Amendment and what it really means. Well, it's what's, um, what's frightening is this, also- this is showing the, the deterioration of the Bill of Rights, the First Amendment and the Second Amendment. You lose those, you lose everything else. Yeah, without question. And I think it goes all the way back to what we talked about earlier in the conversation when we were saying that uh, there's such a high support for socialism amongst government workers. And most of those government workers are teachers. What are they teaching our kids? Yeah, They're teaching our kids that the Second Amendment is awful and that it should be repealed. They're teaching our kids that hate speech, that things that are considered to be offensive speech should not be allowed in a free society. They are, they are teaching our kids to reject the Constitution, to reject the Bill of Rights, to reject individual liberty. And that's why I think you're seeing younger people support these socialist policies at a much higher rate than you're seeing older people.